Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my extraterrestrial wife, Laura. I'm here with my phone home husband, Nathan. And we're here to look at the uh, board game based on the E.T. movie. Yes. Who would have thought this existed? I well, didn't. <laughs> pretty much every, through the 70s and 80s, I think every single popular thing got a board game. And most of them were fairly terrible. That's true. A, a lot of the, like, um... What am I trying to Kids say? A lot of the ones off like movies and stuff were like, you know, get from point A to point B. There was there was nothing to it. This one's a little bit more complex, which is good, but it's, you, know, it's, you can... It's better. Yeah, it's better. It's better than going from just one end of the board to the other. Hmm. So let's just have a quick look at the... Whoa. Ooh. Back. Obviously, this is quite old, so just forgive the, the stains and the everything. Stains. Yep. So there's your... Some assembly required. Well, that's the whole idea, isn't it? I mean... <laughs> yeah, so let's just take a look inside. We are not going to play this one. This is just a kind of look at because... It's not very interesting to watch, I don't think. It's, again, we've had to, done it quite a few lately, um, repetitive sort of games, I guess. They're interesting to look at, but maybe not to watch a whole no, like, game of. No, especially the Home and Way and Neighbours board game. <laughs> we didn't do the Neighbours board game. Oh. We did the Neighbours card game. So here we go. We have... E.T. in each corner, so you have four E.T. heads, which is nice. <laughs> yeah. It's a circular board, which I guess is a little unusual. You don't really see these that often. No. And the spaceship landing site, which I assume where you build your spaceship. Well, it said spaceship lands. You, you, you build the landing site, yeah. So Nathan doesn't really know the gameplay of this that well, so I'm it's probably going to take the lead with that. It's <laughs> been a very long time since I've played this. Yes. So your instructions come in, like, the little inner tray... Which I guess we'll probably scan because it is possible to lose that tray. Or get it damaged. Or get it yeah. damaged. Um, so we'll have a link to that down below just like we normally would with um, manuals. Um, we'll also put this down there. This is the ET Spaceship Assembly Instructions. So it's just one-sided. What I am surprised, I picked this up second hand years ago. I'm surprised that it, it was all still there, especially since the, the spaceship's just cardboard. So it gets damaged very easily. Agreed. So that's the spaceship that Nathan's talking about. Um, I'm not sure I really want to try and y y put that together, but you get the idea. You saw it on the back of the box. Exactly. <laughs> um, it's actually in pretty good condition, so I don't know whether that means whoever owned it before us didn't play it, or whether they were very, very careful. First option, I reckon, but... <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, there's our um, like little boarding strip for the spaceship as well. I think the coolest... Right. Oh, you show the cards. I'll get a couple of the cool... Pieces, yeah. Yes. So these are the cards. They all just have ET on them, and then there's that Put on the other H. side of those. Put ET's costume on him, which will make well, it'll make sense if you've seen the movie, I suppose. Which I also haven't seen in quite a long time. I haven't watched watch it in again. a while either. Speaking of ET's costume, and this is the coolest part of the. So let me see if I can. Get the so that, that's his costume, but you take it off and. There's, There's an actual little, little figure. <laughs> so it's nice to see an actual plastic figure than sort of cardboard pieces and things they use in a lot of these uh, licensed base games. Yeah, um, I didn't get to show you the other side. These cards just have either E.T. or Elliot written on the other side, which is vital <laughs> for the game. Now, and Nathan's got all the other pieces. Here's our cardboard puzzle pieces <laughs> and dots and so die. The landing um, space that you need to build is made out of very flimsy puzzle very, pieces. Very, very thin. And you need to collect tokens. So to win the game you have to be the person at the end who has the most of these tokens which are also just a flimsy sort of cardboard. So do you want to um, maybe put the board out might be the best way to kind of I can do that. explain this one. So you start, can we even see the start? Over, Here we go. over there. You move in a counterclockwise direction. Which is also with ET. unusual. It is. Um, and the idea is for you to keep ET safe as you go around the board. Um, so there's spaces where people are trying to get him and you need <coughs> to save him, basically. Yeah. Um, you want to collect as many tokens as I mentioned to win the game. You also, throughout it, will need to build the landing site. But um, the first person who gets to the landing site is not necessarily the winner. It's, no. it's entirely based it's, on It's the almost like um, Game of Life, where even if you get to the end first, if you don't have enough money, then you can still lose the game. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. may not win. Um, so on each turn, you look at the three spaces that are ahead of you. So say we were back at the start, we have this little fuzzy animal space. Oh, you've already, you've already started wrong. It's counterclockwise, Laura. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's still in front of him. <laughs> that one, um, what does that say? I can't you read You lose that. one fly. You lose one, and then it says dash fly. fly. Right. And then there's a plus three just off camera up there, which looks like this one, basically. Um, then what you do, if you have a costume card, which I showed you earlier, um, and you want to play that on that turn, you play it then and, and you put your... Costume. Spooky warning. <laughs> you put him over. Put him. Put that over him is what I'm trying to say. So with the costume on, he's safe from men with flashlights, tracker vans, Gertie, and men in spacesuits. They'll never see him in this white <laughs> bed sheet. Mm. No, never. <laughs> um, so then, what you need to do is say the number between one and three that you actually want to roll before you roll. As weird as that may sound, right? It's very odd. <laughs> Stick with me here. Then you roll the die and move the. Is the was the die in there? It's, there a, it's a slightly different die. It's it's a it's a one to three die. Yes. Um, you roll that and then move counterclockwise <clears throat> the number of spaces indicated on the die, um, irrelevant of which one you picked. Yeah. Between one and three. Um, what you do after that is follow the instructions on the space, basically. So. Pretty, so this one pretty says, sort of simple Gertie, after that. you lose two, player who flies wins two. I assume that's two tokens. Yes, it is two tokens. Um, so the number that you said aloud before you rolled the die, if that happens to match what you've actually rolled, you get another turn. Ooh. And that can keep going as long as you need it to. So that's pretty cool. So if you keep matching them, you keep going. Um, if you don't match it, then, you know, game, well, not because I say game, game over. Game over, sorry. T turn over. Um, you want to do three things through the game. Um, obviously, try and land, you know, in the best spaces to get you tokens. But mm -hmm. that does come down to dice Pieces rolls. So. Things, yep. um, you want to build the transmitter. Sorry, not the landing space. You want to build the transmitter to call the there. spaceship down. Um, so there are transmitter beacon spaces, um, which are the plus three um, spaces there. Which yes. are the puzzle pieces. Thank you for illustrating, mm. Nathan. <laughs> um, you also get uh, so you get three chips every time you land on one of those spaces, plus the piece um, of the puzzle. So they're they're probably the best space to land on. They're really handy, and there's no risk to ET, which is great. Um, if it's been built, you don't get any chips because you're not actually contributing a piece. So you know, mm. fair enough. Um, then we have the quick ET hide space, which is this one here. Do you want to hold that up a bit closer? It's um obviously based on a scene from the movie where he with hides in full of stuffed toys and things. Yep. Um, so with that one, you collect the number of chips that it says on the space. Um, and you roll and win, so I assume you roll. And you although that said, not all of them have. No, so a this number. this one says you roll and win, so I rolled and I would get two chips. Exactly. Um, then um, yeah, you basically just collect them. So he's hidden. He's safe, which is yeah. great. Then we have the men with flashlights. Ooh, they're all the ones with men with flashlights. They're silhouettes. Yes. <laughs> so for those ones, you need to have E.T. Um, in the costume for him to be safe. So that's why, obviously, you check ahead before you like decide whether to play your card. Um, if you're in the costume, you're safe. If you're not, you lose a chip. It's Ooh. very easy to lose chips. Yes, there is a lot of lose uh, chip spaces. Well, yes. Um, then you have to fly. To safety. On your bicycle, I assume. So, well, yeah. So, to fly, and this is something that's used in a lot of spaces, you close your eyes. Yes, that is how you start mm -hmm. to fly. Yeah. <laughs> then what you do is get one of the ET cards. Sorry about my arm. I'm just passing those to Nathan. So, the person next to you gets that mm -hmm. and puts it on your forehead with either ET or Elliot, like, facing everyone else. Um, it's, on, it's on Laura's forehead right now. And I have to guess. I think ET. Correct. Yay! So, um, if you are right, you've helped ET. He's flying. Woohoo! <laughs> um, if you don't, then you have not helped him, and it moves on to the next person. So, someone has to help ET get away. Oh. So, um, in a two-player game, then it would be like Nathan's turn. I would hold one up to his forehead, and we'd do it again until someone helps him. So, this is why we're not playing it. Because, you know, so, they could go around I mean, in circles for a while. What if we, no one saves them, just keeps them going to... Well, someone has to eventually. I mean, it's only a 50-50... Well, you could just chance. stop playing. Well, you, well that, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, they caught, they caught ET, don't want to play anymore. <laughs> so, I've talked about the penalties. What are the benefits of rescuing ET? 
So if you manage to fly ET to safety, you get to pick um, where you want to go. So say you're moving around the outside and you really want to go to one of like the pieces to get a puzzle piece and three tokens for yourself. Then you can move to the next available. The next closest one to you. So you can't just be like, okay, I'm going to go right here from here or right around the board. It's got to be the next available space that you choose. In front go, of you, yes. yeah. Um, so each, um, sorry, I, I should finish that, that thought yes. before I move on to the next one. Please. <laughs> um, so then you can move and then you just play like whatever the space is. Um, there's a tracker van space, however. Which is the red Where is one, it? Thank I you. Yep. All around here. Um, so you're the only person who is allowed to help ET fly so if, if it's on if that if space. If I land on there, only I have to keep guessing what card is in my forehead. And for every incorrect guess, I lose a token. So yes. it can be quite nasty. Yes. Although, again, 50-50 chance of guessing. Yeah. So, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. I suppose you, if you're really nasty, you could cheat and just pretend that the, the character ET or Alec they're guessing is not the one and... <laughs> That's you know, called cheating. That is cheating. <laughs> um, then we have the ghost costumes base over there. Which I assume you get the card. You get a costume card, you can, yes. You can use to prevent ET from getting harmed. Um, the instructions also say it's a good idea to try and collect those because they're more in the outer rings than the inner rings. Yeah, in fact, there's none in the uh, inner two rings. There's no costume spaces at all. In fact, most of them are... <laughs> nasty <Bad>. spaces, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you want to have your costumes ready to go. Um, so to move up, so you start in the outer ring, you land in the bottom of one of these arrow spaces, and that's how you go up to the you next level. You have to level. land on by exact count. So if I'm here, down the bottom, and I get a two, I go past and I keep on going around until I manage to land on one that brings me to the inner circles. Which is actually beneficial because you can collect more tokens, um, fewer opportunities as you go in to collect the token. Yes. So, you know, it, it's a double-edged sword. It could take you a long time, but, you know, you have to have them to win. Um, then we have the Gertie space which are these pink pink sort of ones um, so you lose two tokens for and landing there because Gertie's telling the adults about ET and so. whoever actually manages to save ET flies away wins two tokens exactly um, and that's the same way of flying as we sort of already mentioned there's also the playground where's the playground which is in the inner there. circles yeah um, and they're just safe zones yeah. nothing you get two tokens you know. if you land on them yeah nothing goes wrong with those ones there's the man in the space suit as well um, so this one says like you roll and you lose. So and that's I think the rarest space. I think there's only two of them. And they're on the inner circle because that's near the end of the movie, yes. I believe, from from memory. Where we've got the house all in lockdown and all spoilers. <laughs> exactly. What a forty something. This is what eighty two. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, well, you know, spoiler. Sorry. Um, and that's basically it for the gameplay. Um, you just keep doing that, moving into the inner circle until obviously everything's built with that little puzzle. And um, when it's built you count your tokens and see who's got the most tokens. No, so then someone has to get there. Uh, so you can still lose or gain tokens getting there. Yes, so whoever lands uh, on the landing site first gets three chips and then the game is over. So only the first person has to get to the end, so, count your chips, and, and that's it. So you can try and spend time around here, but if you're here and the other person's sort of in the inner circle and they happen to build this, the... Finish building the trans... Mm -hmm. uh, the, what's it called? The transmitter beacon. Then, yeah. Yeah, it, it's... Um, hmm. You just have to keep an eye on what the other person's doing, how many tokens they have, really. So it, it's an interesting concept, but actually playing it, um, it's just a matter of lose a token, gain a token, lose a token, keep them going around until you manage to get lucky and land on it in a ring. And so it can be quite fast or slow. It can be monotonous or you can just have a really quick game. Yeah, which is again why we didn't play it, we sort of thought. And explaining it I think has taken us long enough. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's it. As we said, the instructions will be down below. Anything else you want to add? Um, I like the cover art and all the actual artwork on it. Um, and I'm just sort of glad they made a more complex game than sort of move from A to B, like you were saying. Oh, one thing, sorry. Um, you can't move into the inner um, last section in here, ring, until the transmitter beacon is built. Sorry. Forgot that part. So you can't get into the danger zone <laughs> until, danger until zone. you know, you're almost ready to the end the game. Man. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know, do you remember this coming out? Were you around when the movie came out? Maybe you weren't. I don't know. Hit subscribe and check out the link down below to our food review channel. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.